What's good guys? As you read from the title, the countdown for Realm Rampage has finally begun, and I just wanted to make a quick little video on this topic, but it's pretty much confirmed that we'll be getting Realm Rampage tomorrow, August 10th at any random time. For some of you, it may already be August 10th, so... Some think that because of the owner's time zone, the game's gonna come out later in the day, and some people think that the game will come out immediately. Just to confirm, the owner himself said that Realm Rampage won't be coming out as soon as it turns to 10th. But anyways, in today's video, I'll be telling you guys everything you need to know in order to get prepared for the upcoming release release of Realm Rampage. First off, as I said earlier, the exact time that the game will be releasing is yet to be announced. Now it's possible that the announcement has yet to be made as of this recording, so if that's the case, I'll make sure to update you guys in the comment section. So far, we have 4 game passes that we're able to purchase as of now. We have the typical Early Access, Kill Sounds, VIP, and Private Server Plus. Private Server Plus is just more controls for your private server. According to the screenshot, the confirmed characters we'll be receiving off release for free are Sukuna, Dio, Goku, Sunjin Wu, and Katakuri. Sinjin Wu, the guy from Soul Leveling, I, don't, I know nothing about him. Other characters such as Madara and Ichigo are marked as unfinished, so it's likely that they'll be a part of early access. If not, we'll just be receiving them later. Homelander will also be available, but he'll only be available in private servers. Similar to how the Strongest Battlegrounds has Gojo exclusive to private servers. However, it seems like to get Homelander, you need the private server plus game pass. Now, to point out the obvious, emotes will also be in the game. It seems like you'll be able to buy them through some sort of shop or menu. As well as for emotes, we'll also be able to buy characters skins. Not sure how it will work considering how you don't play as a specific character model, such as like if they made you look like Goku when you played Goku. It seems like the skins will only apply to the actual weapons and moves. For example, for Dio, it looks like you'll get stand skins. And then for Ichigo, you might get a Genji sword skin. Now going off what we got so far, it seems like we'll also have the ability to gift, most likely game passes and potentially emotes and skins. But speaking of emotes, so far there isn't any existing emotes game pass. Now this could possibly mean three things. A. We don't receive such game pass and already get a larger emote wheel, B, one will be coming in the future, or C, we just get the typical size emote wheel and never receive a game pass. Of the three, I think the second one is the most probable. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the domain clashing feature. Despite Sukuna technically having the only domain, every character will have a move that works like one. I can imagine that if, say, Dio beats Sukuna in a domain clash, the Dio will successfully be able to time stop, you know, etc. As for myself, I might have in the stream the release of Realm Rampage, so make sure to stick around for that. And maybe I'll even give away some early access game passes to some lucky people. But anyways, that's all you need to know about Realm Rampage. See you guys later.